Let me give you a short introduction to our work on rewriting the description logic al chic to disjunctive existential rules. This is joint work with David Karal. My name is Markus Krötsch and we are at TU Dresden. Welcome. Now, when I say rewriting, I mean the transformation of one logic into uh, another logic such that important entailments are preserved. In, in our case, these are the entailments of facts. So let's have a look at this um, definition. Given a theory T1 in a logic L1 and a theory T2 in a logic L2, we say that T2 is a rewriting of T1 if and on if we find that um, for every set of facts F and for every fact phi, T1 together with F entails phi if and only if t2 together with f entails phi. So in other words, the rewriting preserves fact entailments. And uh, f, of course, in description logic terms would be an arbitrary a box. And you can see that this is a useful thing to have because it means you can transform your terminological knowledge and then use a reasoner for the other logic L2 together with your a box to obtain all the conclusions that you are interested in. Now, in this work, um, I will be using several rule language as the target for this rewriting. Um, of course, we encounter data logs, the simplest uh, rule language conceivable. I'm sure you have heard of it. Um, data log can be extended in several ways. We can dis extend it with disjunctions in the heads. This is called disjunctive data log with existentials in the heads. This is called existential rules. And it means that we can require the existence of new elements in our domain. And of course, we can also combine the two and have disjunctive existential uh, rules um, that have non-determinism and existential quantifiers. Now, description logics, I can't really introduce to you in five minutes, but uh, the logic al that we are dealing with can be normalized into a rule-like syntax as well. You see here these nine forms of rules, and this is essentially all we need to express an al theory. So if you don't know any description logics, you could um, try to work with this. You see, we need equality in this logic in order to express everything. But this, of course, also can be axiomatized as usual. <clears throat> Now, many different um, works have studied rewritings from description logics to rule languages. I think uh, the first one would be Hustadt et al. in 2007. This is, of course, a seminal work of Boris Motik, transforming Schick into disjunctive data log. <clears throat> I'm writing here al chic instead of chic because for the original transformation with chic, um, uh, you would not uh, obtain the preservation of binary fact entailments, only unary fact entailments. Um, conversely, if you only are interested in unary fact entailments, you could replace every use of ALC here by S. And even our paper could have a different title if we would only be interested in that. Okay, <clears throat> what you can see here is that in many cases, the um, rewritings lead to exponentially large rule sets where the rules are of bounded size, meaning that the size of the rule does not depend on the input. It's uh, fixed. It cannot grow beyond a certain point. Um, this is unavoidable because if you have bounded rules, the complexity of, for example, data log drops to p time. And Hornschick is an x time complete logic, so you could not possibly translate it to a polynomial uh, bounded rule uh, set. The only way around this exponential increase is to consider unbounded rules, but this has its own problems because these rules can easily contain thousands or tens of thousands of variables, and it's hard to find any rule engine that is prepared to deal with such input. Um, there are only few cases which get around this, either when you have a very simple lightweight description logic, then you can at least indeed take data log and have polynomial bounded rule encodings, or when you have higher uh, expressivity in the description logic, you can find ways to encode with existential quantifiers even more powerful theories. And this work in some sense was the precursor of our work here because it, um, uh, it contains a lot of important ideas to get this extra expressivity. Now, the new results we have here are essentially uh, concerned with al uh, In particular, we obtain polynomial bounded rule rewritings into disjunctive existential rules for al and into um, non-disjunctive existential rules for the Horn variant of this logic. Each of these three new results use different techniques based on types, based on uh, encoding a tableau calculus, and based on a certain um, 
uh, consequence-based method and are interested in their, in, in their own right. So please uh, come and see our uh, full video and paper for further details. Thank you very much for watching and uh, get in touch if you have any questions. Bye-bye.